Hello, welcome to Jadekind Gaming. My name is Adam, and today I have a tiny little uh, Dwarven Forge unboxing from the Reliquaries line. Now, I already unboxed my All the Sculpts pledge that came out like a week ago. Um, so, if you haven't seen that, check that out. It's awesome. But I have a few sculpts here that weren't new sculpts in the Reliquaries line. But it is a little pack that when the Reliquaries line goes available on Dwarven Forge's website, um, the, you know, from looking at the stock images of what's coming up, it is in there, and it might be something you would want to take a look at if you intend, like me, to use these not as um, dice holders, but rather as new options for playing D&D and such, and terrain, and minis, or whatever. Um, and that is the Reliquary Toppers Pack, which has just a few pieces that have been available in previous lines, partnered together now under the Reliquary set. Just ten little pieces, so I was like, a little bitty box, I'll just include it as a little midweek bonus video, and we'll take a look here at what this includes. So first, fire. These were for some brazier or something. So if you want to have, say, a dwarven statue, have fire atop it. And look at that. That's that's awesome. That's that's beautiful. But that could also, of course, you know, the throne could be. Just sort of a little fire pit. You don't have to have something that lights it up. So you can have... Eh, it's harder to show when they're not level. Because they want to gravity feed. So when you do that, it falls out. But anyways. The top of the weird artificer uh, column. can be ablaze with the power that it is producing. Or the little elven throne could have some fire in it. Now, it doesn't work for all of them. The uh, elemental throne of water looks particularly weird with it. But on the other hand, uh, it'll fit very nicely in your phoenix if you don't like that weird dip in the phoenix. You can have bursts of flame. So there are four little tufts of fire for you to add that detail to whichever pieces you need. And it's just little clear little nubs um, and a little paint on the top. Flames. Then we have um, two of these chains. These are the metal chains that are pole accessory pieces which uh, came from the uh, what was that set? Plague Stone set? Now these you know, can go in any piece say that has pole accessory holes. So for example these plugs. And if you have say you know, that might be two of this piece that you throw it in and throw one on each end. Of course, these little handles can go around the hands of minis. And you can have a mini that's sort of stretched out between two pieces since there are two chains or a chain draping over the top of, say, a column might hold the hand of a mini and just lock them from going away from the column while whatever beast of whatever that is enacting them as a sacrifice walks up to them and they're just held to the column helpless and thus the heroes come in and save them. But these chains are, I find, very nice. It's all metal. This is all metal. The pull accessory bit, metal. The chain, metal. It's a little metal bit for the, the handle, um, which at this scale makes for very nice little detail 
of that. So I remember being very impressed with these when I got that that set um, from Plague Stone. So very nice. And then we get four of this, which, as you see from this one, is actually two different pieces. It is a pull accessory that accepts a pull accessory. So, likewise, the bottom part, they're both pull accessories, so they do need the plugs to work with the reliquaries. You have to plug it in, but it plugs perfectly into here. And then if you'd rather just do the Raven without it, you can. Um, and so if you want your Raven on an orb on top of your RAM column, you can have it. If you just want the RAM, the orb on top there, you don't have to have the Raven on it. The raven, of course, can be an actual Raven, or it can be a statue. You know, you do you, man. And then with this, like, any other pull accessory, of course, can go on the top of that. So if you'd rather have that be where the chain comes out of, it can. <laughs> um, yeah, so you have this orb here. This little bird, and you get four of each. And so, you know, whether that's on the top of this column, or perhaps with these eldritch tem you know, tendrils are going after as they reach to grasp the top here, or maybe there's another golden orb atop of this that this orb mimics. If you know, <laughs> if you would rather do that, just a number of options that these can all work as part of. Perhaps this is even some magical artifact that the water is lifting up from the depths below. Or the detailed final component of the artificer's design. Really, whatever. Or, of course, you can get them without getting the reliquaries. You can just decide, I want little bits of fire that I can dot about other environments and the couple different pull accessory options and so even if you don't have the reliquaries if you just want you know the the raven the orb and the chain pull accessories it's a little set that has those so um yeah i mean it's coming out with the with the reliquaries they're they're not new sculpts with it they're old sculpts but they're collected together here because um they all kind of work well as little ways to decorate up many of these pieces. So, um, I will, of course, link to Dwarven Forge's website. Um, I do not exactly know when this line is going live. It just arrived for me from the Kickstarter. Um, so it probably won't be a huge, uh, huge time longer until they, they want to get it out in the store. Um, but yeah, so you can like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Um, bye.